As explained in the previous video, an investment center manager can control or significantly influence the investment funds available for use. The primary basis for evaluating the performance of a manager of an investment center is return on investment. The ROI formula helps managers determine if the investment center has used its assets effectively. The formula for calculating ROI for an investment center is controllable margin divided by average operating assets. If margin is $1 million and operating assets are $5 million, then your ROI is 20%. Operating assets consist of current assets and plant assets used in the operations by the center and controlled by the manager. Non-operating assets, such as idle plant assets and land held for future use, are excluded. Average operating assets are usually based on the cost or book value of the assets at the beginning and end of the year. The scope of a manager's responsibility affects the content of the performance report. Since an investment center is an independent entity for operating purposes, all fixed costs are controllable by its manager. The report also shows budgeted and actual ROI, which is presented below controllable margin. This is a responsibility report for the Marine Division. We will now assume that the Marine Division is an investment center. As a result, the manager can control $60,000 of fixed costs that were not controllable when the division was a profit center. This responsibility report shows budgeted and actual ROI below controllable margin. The report shows that the manager's performance based on ROI was below budget expectations by 1.8%, and that's simply the difference between the budgeted ROI of 15% and the actual ROI of 13.2%. In Part A, you prepared a responsibility report for Sports Equipment Division, and you assumed it was a profit center. Now I want you to assume that the division is an investment center, it has operating assets of a million dollars, and at this point, the non-controllable fixed costs are controllable at the investment center level. So go ahead and calculate ROI, assuming this is an investment center. Managers of an investment center can improve ROI by either increasing controllable margin and or reducing average operating assets. To illustrate, we will use data from the laser division. Controllable margin can be increased by increasing sales or by reducing variable and controllable fixed cost. If this company increases sales by 10%, sales will increase $200,000. Assuming no change in the contribution margin percentage of 45%, contribution margin will increase by $90,000. Controllable margin will increase by the same amount because controllable fixed cost will not change. Controllable margin becomes $690,000. The new ROI is 13.8% and is calculated as follows. An increase in sales benefits both the investment center and the company if it results in new business. It would not benefit the company if the increase was achieved at the expense of other investment centers. Let's take a look at what happens to our ROI if we decrease both variable and fixed cost by 10%. Total cost will decrease by $140,000, and that is found by taking the $1.1 million of variable cost and adding $300,000 of fixed cost and then multiplying by 10%. The reduction will result in a corresponding increase in the controllable margin. The controllable margin becomes $740,000 which is calculated by taking the original $600,000 and adding $140,000. The new ROI is 14.8% and is calculated as follows. This course of action is clearly beneficial when the reduction in cost is the result of eliminating waste and inefficiency. 
but a reduction in costs that result from cutting expenditures on vital activities, such as required maintenance and inspections, is not likely to be acceptable to top management. In this last scenario, let's assume that the average operating assets are reduced by 10% or half a million. Average operating assets become $4.5 million. Since controllable margin will remain unchanged at 600,000, the new ROI is 13.3%, which is calculated as follows. Reductions in operating assets may or may not be prudent. It is beneficial to eliminate overinvestment in inventories and to dispose of excessive plant assets. However, it is unwise to reduce inventories below expected needs or to dispose of essential plant assets. When you calculate the contribution margin percentage, please round to two decimals. When you divide 3.2 million into 700,000, you'll arrive at 21.875. I'd like you to use 21.88% as the contribution margin percentage. The solution to this exercise will be provided in the next video.